Welcome to Sick Catchphrase Live. We're playing Child of Light. Sick catchphrase, brah. Yeah. You, uh, I, I think I just said catchphrase. <laughs> oh. Um, so we, I mentioned it briefly at the end of the last episode, you know, PewDiePie and all, and Cartman Bra, and, mm -hmm. uh, which... Oh, um, whoa. Oh, what, the game is little... taking over. Oh. Robert, what do you have to say? The vault. Here we go. Oh, boy. Aurora, no. Please, help me break the vault's enchantment. Oh, for your own career advancement? No, yes, my future depends on it. This Nora has some anti-Semitical problems. <laughs> is, is Robert a Semite? Uh, no, I'm not going to say. <laughs> uh, I think you should commit if you're going to make a joke like that. You can't be afraid of it. It's true. You just have to just, just plow in. Clearly, the mice are Muslims. Huh. You lie. <laughs> <laughs> the truth you want? I... I do it all for Margaret. Her portrait is beyond compare. Oh, wow. With checkered locks of dusky hair. With velvet skin and eyes that reflect my stare. From smoky head to dainty paw, you will not get a balmous as fair as Margaret. Margaret. I feel like it had to rhyme. Margaret. It, it had to... Margaret. Uh... If we, the vault, reclaim, I surely will receive fame alongside a promotion, and Margaret will seek me with devotion. Wow, that's beautiful. Mm. I just got mm. moved. Are you? Did it have the Don't power? Don't steal my dreams. For me and Margaret's sake, the vault's combination break. Oh, we've been here before. This, we can just shine a light and open up the puzzle, right? The lights aren't shining. Dun, Robert has dun, dun, left the party. Dude! He'll be, back. He'll be back. Don't worry. Dude! Don't worry. This mechanism appears ancient. Don't. What? Well, this is some delirious Robert's It seems sl tightly sealed. Give me a minute. Thank Rambert. The last combination. I, can, I can't. I can't see it. Yeah. You're, you're, you're nailing it. Well, you know what? You oh, just interesting. aren't a real person. One of these types of puzzles, so it's not the same as the other. We haven't been here before. If I do this one again, does it just go back and... So, yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah. It's like the, uh, KOTOR switches puzzle. Uh, I don't remember it, but I believe you, and we did it. Right. <laughs> that was super... Oh, now! Uh, that's your job. That's cool, though. I like that there's something for both yeah, of us to do doing? here. What am I doing? What am just I doing? hold it down until it pops. What am I doing? Yeah, see? Well, this is so hard. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I was trying it's to say... It's a challenge of your manual dexterity. I was trying to open up a, a uh, discussion about uh, YouTubers and the way they present themselves, right? So... Yeah. We, we have, I think, uh, an issue that we're aware of, which is we are very uh, laid-back people. Yeah, totally. Like, I, I was actually thinking about this. I game to relax as a general rule, sure. right? Like, before this channel, gaming was my way to unwind. And so it's a very natural thing for me to go into a cool, calm conversation during gaming. Um, should we, should we just like click Lando. through this dialogue? Yeah, I think it's fine. I've, I've been reading enough of this guy's voice. Keep going. Well, um, yeah, so, you know, we don't want to be PewDiePie. Never do we want to be PewDiePie. Right. If we ever find ourselves in a situation where we sold out and uh, we just make silly noises all day long... Um, well, I hope you shoot me, but um, <laughs> but it's it's tricky, uh, right? Like, gladly, we we definitely need to find a level of enthusiasm uh, that that gets you know viewers hyped, gets us hyped. We need to say hyped. Yeah. Um, but how far do you go, right? Um, because you want it to feel natural, of course. You don't want to you don't want your energy levels to be uh, forced. Right. That is the hard part. And like I said, like we started this recording session, like I'm pumped this morning. Yeah, I feel great. And um, I, I think. Uh, it's something that I feel like my, my mind is kind of reworking the the way that I play games now. Because, like you yes. said, relaxing. But yes. now I'm kind of in this mindset of... I don't know, it's kind of nice. It's kind of refreshing. It, so. it totally is. It makes gaming fun again in a very different way. Yeah. Um, oh, that's right. So it doesn't work well Let's against see, these guys. I, I might be able to... Let me... I'm going to power up this time. Oh, oh wow. That's, that's ballsy. I think I need it because she needs to get some more damage yeah. in her. Oh, I forgot to hit the button. I was like, "Why isn't it moving on?" Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get ready for him. Um, I'm gonna do a range of arrows there, though. 
I never use my potions either, other than the like heal and revive. I should take a look at those. Should I defend here? Maybe you'll be all right. I would defend. Just They're gonna. Ahead of them. Oh yeah. Well, okay. Uh, I mean, I, I don't think I can slow this guy down. I just want to see what's in here. Magic potion just recovers magic. Okay, potent magic potion. Recover, recover, replenish, cure, revive. Increase targeted ally's speed. That's not helpful right now, but it could be helpful. It's something to keep in mind. Mm. Um, and that's kind of cool, too, the low elixir. Uh, I will defend, though, ultimately. It's the right thing to do. So... The battles have definitely gotten more intense. Um, yeah. What I wanted to talk about, because I finally watched Avengers 2. Oh, yes, um, yes. And, and this has been on my mind. I've complained about it plenty to you, and I enjoyed the movie. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed Avengers 2. Mm -hmm. But the thing that really disappointed me um, was how the combat nice. felt really uninspired. Yeah. Well, it's, it's just to show off all the characters, right? Like, yeah. everything is about showing off a character as opposed to making a action sequence that pumps your adrenaline in a... I mean, it still gives your general up, but it doesn't it doesn't make you afraid at any point. Sure. I mean, so there's, there's I guess, two points that I have to make then, um, and I'm not sure which order is best here, but uh, I guess I'll start with um, superheroes need a threat that is greater than them to feel like they're making an accomplishment, and I think the Avengers has always been at its best when the Avengers are fighting each other, in the movies at least, because mm -hmm. the Jatari were a cool scene, but they weren't right. really fighting something greater than them. They were stronger than each of the Jatari and, individually. And the best scene, to not do any spoilers, the best scene of the new one is a fight between two Avengers. Yeah. yeah, and you see it in the trailer. I mean, you see glimpses of it anyways. That's true. Um, but in the first movie, you had Thor versus Iron Man and uh, uh, Thor versus Hulk. And uh, it was just really great. Those were really exciting scenes. Yeah. And it was because, you know, you can didn't you, really know who was Can you slow down that one that's going to act in a minute? I suppose so. Yeah. Um, and then keep oh, on with your, real quick. your dialogue, your commentary. Yeah. So the, um, the other thing that was really, really frustrating to me is is uh, what I call the um, oh, what do I call it? I, I had a word for this. What do I call it, Nick? Um, I, what? <laughs> you had a word for what exactly? It's um, the, this is movie sin for action, where you make it look like the heroes are so strong they don't have to try. I don't um, know, Superman syndrome. <laughs> no, it's but it, what it comes down to is. Um, they can they can throw their fist backwards without looking. Yeah, and, you, and, and yeah. destroy something. You know. It's yeah. Like, oh, there's a robot running up on me. Just fling my my arm. And I'm that happened. Backward, but you can't that happened it. with Hawkeye in the first Avengers too. He fires yeah, he an arrow at a Shatari backwards. And, it yeah. happens more than twice in Avengers two. Oh, um, this is bad. I'm gonna defend. Yeah. Okay. I'm finally starting to feel like I've got a, a better grip on that mechanic. Keep going. Defending is really important. Um, but but so Iron Man or not Iron Man, uh, Captain America. You know, at one point, just throws his fist back, not knocks a uh, robot out. Scarlet Witch throws her hand back and shoots a magic missile out, and just you know destroys one of the enemies. And uh, mm -hmm. magic the, missile. Uh, yeah, I and attack then, the darkness. It's just, it's just, uh, it's. I don't know what the, where the thrill in that kind of fight is, right? Well, it's about like, look how cool these visual effects are. I mean, I don't think it's a terrible thing, and also, it's a fantasy fulfillment for a movie that's intended for family, right? Like, so your kids can watch it without too much trauma. <laughs> um, and I think there's a place for that. I just oh, want to end this fight without her. I was thinking about, like, I could probably just kill this guy. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna try. Um, oof, it's gonna be close, though. Oh, I don't know. Maybe get, I should get, bring her back. It. Just shoot. Just shoot. I don't know how many hit points he has. We're going to interrupt him here anyhow. Yeah, that's true. Did I do an all? I meant to do an individual one, but that's okay. All right. right. Um, yeah, yeah. But what I was saying, it's a movie meant for families, so you want there to not be too much peril, but I want, personally, way more peril. Like, I want the characters to be at risk all the time um, so that I'm invested in what happens to them. Sure. For kids, it's more... I mean, the thing that sells, their favorite characters are always the most powerful characters for young, young that's kids. True. Our nephew always wants Hulk and Thor toys because he wants the character who can just destroy everything. He wants to feel invulnerable because he's a child, mm -hmm. um, and he wants to pretend to be those characters. Uh, so there, there was a moment in Avengers, the first Avengers. It was kind of phoned in, but it was still really good. At the end, when they all, everybody in the battle against the Chitauri was having their "we're not doing so well" moment, mm -hmm. it was like you know a little like one minute just show all the Avengers struggling. Yeah, and it yeah. worked really, really well. They had the right cinematography for it, and it, and it really lent 
it made the Jatari uh, invasion feel, uh, you know, maybe not the scariest thing, but like, wow, these guys are really actually fighting for this. And um, yeah, the, you know, I I don't think well, they had they had the the plot hanging, literally in uh, Avengers two, but they didn't necessarily have. That's, you knew that's they were a reference that only someone who has seen it seen will it. know. <laughs> yeah, sure, that's fine. He's done this that. guy. They had yeah. Oh, do we, we're not gonna fight him, are we? No, I wanted to get away from him. Um, I think do we do we actually open it or was there one more? No, there's one more. There's I thought so. This way. This way. Maybe. It must be this way. Yeah. But um, because you know they're gonna save the day, you know. It's, yeah, no, you you never think, but you ne- you want to know that maybe one Avenger doesn't make it or something like that, and no spoilers, but well, mm, mm. no, uh, hold on, I'm not gonna give a spoiler. I said no spoilers, but what they they do is not make you afraid. Uh, well, I don't know, I can't even say that because yeah, they do right? they do make you afraid. Um. I just have issues with how they handled things, I guess. That's all. Are we going to do this battle next time? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, you know what? Let's let's finish it up, because it kind of it tail ends. Uh, uh, we started with these guys, right? Sure. Yeah, let's finish these three, and then that'll be an episode. All right. Uh, rain arrows. Although I, I would do a starlight all just to uh, interrupt them here in a second. It should uh, be just, just you think it'll time right? Yeah. All right. It's worth it. Yeah, it worked out. Nice. Good strategy. And then I kind of want to do a, uh, a power up on if this guy. If you defend guy. here, you can actually probably beat them. I was gonna say do a, uh, a speed potion. Um, that might work. I never use them. I want right. to use them. I, <laughs> I like using things. I, I like that doing a show has made me think about using things I don't normally use. Um, because typically I would just let potions kind of sit and never use yeah. them. Uh, this is going to be bad. Can you slow one? I, I mean, it's not going to help. I can, can you slow one of the front guy? runner? Uh, slow the second one. Because if he attacks Aurora, then the uh, the fight will the hit will still go off. All right. Um, and then I will defend with Aurora, so maybe she'll take the hit. Nope. Dang it. That didn't work out. It was a it was a worthy effort anyhow. All right, let's do that and then get a second one in there. Dang it! I wanted two. Oh well, interrupted one. You up some and then get refresh. All right, um, I can't do a starlight, so defend. So this is a battle of peril. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I mean, we—it's the perfect episode to talk about these things. It was a completely like unplanned, perfect segue. I don't know if it became on your mind because the first battle was so hard, but I've definitely been thinking about it because it's something that's really important to me. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I, I like dumb action movies and I like smart action movies, but the action between both of those still has to be well executed. Yeah, I hit the wrong guy. Dang it, um, if I you, if up. you have a, a big movie that's just about ridiculous action sequences, you still want those action sequences to have a level of uh, proper yeah. execution. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, oh. I which one it was. I thought because I was defending, I would have gone faster. Oh, she slowed down. Yeah. That's alright, it's still got a second one. Okay. Um, where else can we. And I, She's I just think gonna attack. you keep saying it, but it, it, I kind of ignore it in my head. The Avengers oh. is a family movie. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah. But I, but I want it to be my adult movie. You know, I want it to be my yeah. adult superhero. My superhero's well, grown up. Exactly, because it's not just a kid movie. It's definitely for adults, but it's a family movie. Yeah, I would defend this one. Oh, too late. I'm an idiot. I like how it keeps giving me the tip, like, "Hey, moron! If you had defended, you'd be fine right now." All right, can you slow that first one down? I am out of juice. Oh wait, yeah, I can. All right. Back. Oh. Uh, don't do a long one because the other guy's gonna come up behind you and get you. Just interrupt that guy right there. The one I'm... Okay. Oh, oh, I hit the wrong one, didn't I? That's all right. I'll interrupt either one. It hits. Oh, she's down. I'm gonna bring her back. I think I need to. Yeah, oh, I, I'm. I'm too distracted. I, I gotta focus on this fight. Keep talking, and I'll just ignore you. All right. 
Um, I mean, Nick's the biggest dum dum of all time. He's just so dumb. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Keep going. Uh, Army of Darkness is a really great movie. Oh my god! Now I can't ignore you. <laughs> yeah. I, I love that movie. That's my favorite movie. It's so good. Um, that, that's all we can say, right? Ah. <laughs> uh. What it's, do you mean? That's all we can say. No, no. I mean, it's it's hard. It's hard to once you bring up a subject that broad. It's like oh, oh. all these things we can talk about in it, but uh, what to talk about? Yeah. And it's action. We can, I guess we can relate it in its action. It is action. Uh, I mean, <laughs> with the fights against the Deadites, terrible effects though they were. It was awesome. It was really cool. Like it had all the silly stuff you needed. The giant car with the ridiculous like uh, weapons mounted on it. Um, <laughs> you had the bad cheesy villain one-liners that lent to, yeah. the, to the just. They nailed the atmosphere of that movie. The budget didn't matter. It had a decent budget for, you know, mm -hmm. but it was it still came across as this perfect corny B action horror weird just such a I unique time things out. experience. And Bruce Campbell, of course. Oh yeah. Anything with Bruce Campbell. I mean, I have watched so many shows like Burn Notice. Yeah, just and, because uh, he, Burn Notice found his own charm with me, but Yeah, it took a while though, I think. Uh, what was the one where he was um uh an Elvis impersonator who thought he was really Elvis. Oh, Bubba Hotel. Yeah, I watched that specifically because of him. Never would have saw that movie if it weren't right. for him being in it. And I mean, it has a lot of... It's like you said, the other movie, the show has its charms. So does Bubba Hotel. Totally worth watching. Go on Netflix or IMDb or something and just every Bruce Campbell movie you can find. Keep that man's career going forever. <laughs> well, I mean, we've got the Evil Dead show coming, so... Yeah, Ash versus and, the Evil Dead. And I think he's going to be in it. Oh, That's so good. I'm excited. All right, sorry for the long episode. I'm not sorry. I take it back. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one. Wow! Wow! You really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.